Um, quota system and federal character have killed northern Nigeria. So says the Emir of Kano, Muhammadu Sanusi. He said policies like quota system and federal character have done the north of Nigeria more harm than good over the years. Sanusi made the remarks at the 60th birthday celebration of the Kano State Governor Nasser El Rufai in Kaduna on Monday and he said in trying to implement affirmative action to allow the North catch up with the more developed and well-off South, the region has emerged worse off. The EME adds that investing in quality education across the 19 Northern states is the only way to save the region from endemic poverty and underdevelopment. He said, and I quote, the truth is, if you look at what Nasser is doing in Kaduna with 40% of his budget in education, that is the only thing that is going to save the North. We have been saying this for 20 to 30 years. If the North does not change, the North will destroy itself. The country is moving on. The quota system that everybody talks about must have a sunset clause. You don't need to rise on being from Kaduna State or being from the North or being a Muslim to get a job. You come with your credentials. You go with your competence. You can compete with any Nigerian from anywhere. End of quote. So says the Emma of Kano. Quota system has <sighs> been with us for as long as I can recall being a Nigerian. But how beneficial in your own experience would you say this quota system has really been not only for the northerners but for the generality of the Nigerians? Um, when the quota system was introduced before our independence Basically, to make sure that um, we be on the same page. Mm -hmm. That particular reason has been eroded immediately after the first coup in 1966. Mm -hmm. So, because of particular, because we are coming from regionalism, we are every region want to copy what is good. Mm -hmm. You understand now? But later on, everything faded away. The kind of quota system we have in Nigeria now. It's not just barbaric, it's killing competency. Let me break it down. Okay. In the north, let's, let's talk about federal junior secondary school. Mm -hmm. Because I'm involved, that is the reason why I can say this. I have a son that went to Rubushi Federal Government College in Abuja. Mm -hmm. If not because Neko, Organize that election and um, organize that particular exactly. exam very well. There is no way the son I'm talking about could be in that particular school because that school was meant for uh, higher people, the children of higher people. Mm -hmm. But in the area of that means, and he has to score, I, I think it was the second in the whole Southwest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if he has to score close to eight, 98 percent, mm -hmm. and somebody from another state from the north is scoring like 15 percent mm -hmm. and they're going to be in the same class mm -hmm. and you voted like 40 here and those 40 score 90 80 75 mm -hmm. and you have somebody that's called 50 45 and 15 and they are going to be in the same class exposed to the same kind so of learning. the same kind of learning okay so automatically those who that score like 65 here mm -hmm. they will not have opportunity mm -hmm. because some certain people are scoring 45, 15, and there are numbers for each, each region. Do you know how many 65, 60 that are even more brilliant than the full set of good students that come from the other part of the north? What have you done to all those brilliant minds? You've killed them, and that is one of the things. Even in political setting, and what Sanusi, Lamino Sanusi, the Emir of Kano is saying is so obvious, and that is the reason why the man is the only person in the north that is always saying the truth at every given opportunity. Okay. If you look at Kaduna, that's why Kaduna is progressing more than any other state. Go and check. Mm -hmm. It's the only open state that we have in the north because there are a lot of people that are from the south that are working as a civil servant, even in Kaduna state. Mm -hmm. During his first tenure, I know of five different colleagues that are from Yoruba um, descent that were given uh, special advisors. Okay. So automatically, 
We need to give a level playing ground for everybody. I know there's a way we can make a cash up, but don't make it a law that you want to throw 40 here, you want to throw 40 here. What of those people that are brilliant that will not fall into that particular one? And that is what has killed the education in the North. Because if they want to go to federal government college, what they just need to do is that because they peg them, they will now peg it. They may say, Jigawa, you must score 15%. If you score 15%, you can yeah. go and do the screening. Why Lagos, they can give 98 they want in the east, especially Edo, Upward, down to Imo, and Abraham. If you see with the one of Lagos, if you see their own, they may say they must score 75. Why well, you are giving 15 to another place? In fact, there are some states, it's 10 so, percent. So the southerners are being changed. It's not only brain, we are not looking from the yes. time of southerners, we are yes. talking about brilliant minds. And it's the same thing, detail the political All right, Mr. appointment. Chilaka, but then, uh, how do we come out from this situation? Because um, already there seems to be a sense of entitlement, you know, for the Northerners when you talk about this quota system thing. Well, um, let me start by saying that um, in as much as I'm one of those who like to listen to the Emir of um, Kano, mm -hmm. um, but I, sometimes I just think that there's a lot of pretense in his, in his utterances. <laughs> why so? I'll tell you why. If you listen to that utterance, he's, 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 he's focusing on the North. A leader does not do that. He's focusing on the North. He's indirectly telling the North, this is what you're supposed to do. But the truth of the matter is that who are the major beneficiaries of quarter system? It's still the North. They're the, they're, they're the beneficiaries. Yeah. So the point is this, for this country to move forward, quarter system, federal character must be thrown into the dustbin. It brings us back to what I keep saying. The 1999 constitution needs to be shredded. We need to have a, a, a constitution that says, we, you, you and I contributed to. Mm. So it is easy for anybody to say, and if, now, now that he has said it, has it changed the appointment at the federal level? <laughs> is it going to change the appointment at the federal level? Mm. Is it going to change the kind of service chiefs we have? Mm. It's not. Is it going to change those who head power state house, MDAs? It's not. But I'll tell you that if you look at it, we will say the North is backwards, but we know that we have a lot of brilliant minds. Yes, the North. yes, the yes. So for me, that's why I say this, this paper he delivered is filled with pretense. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're trying to say. And also, it also uh, brings to the fore the fact that the quota system and federal character policy in the first place came out of a need, yes. did it not? Yes. So uh, the purpose for that has been defeated, is yes. what we're saying yes. now. Yes. Okay. So what is the way forward? How do we pull out of this? The way forward is mm -hmm. just put, um, let everybody run at his own pace. Let I disagree. Let I, no, no, I disagree. At his own pace. This is the same thing where we have a quota system. Mm -hmm. Uh, See, this is the only solution to this thing is that mm -hmm. there is nothing like running at your own pace. Throw it open. Mm -hmm. Hey, is this the same thing? If you want to go for an exam, if you want to go and do an exam, federal exam, mm -hmm. let everybody run. It's such a way. The way you can read, the way you've read, mm -hmm. give everybody every exam. Mm -hmm. If it is a... If it is a... Um, um, 70 that you can score based on what you've read, go and read and pass the exam. But my problem is this. Do you know that every state university, every state university, go and check. I stand to be corrected, mm -hmm. but I know what I'm saying, and I know some of my colleagues will also agree with me. Mm -hmm. Every state university, go and see those universities. You will discover that the homegrown indigenous of that state, mm -hmm. they are the one that will take, if not, let me reduce and say like 45. Mm -hmm. The same thing with federal now. Any state, that that federal institution is a federal by name, but catchment area. And they are going to use that to deny a lot of brilliant students that are coming from the other states. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of the thing. But what is important is that, as he has said, let everybody run at his own pace and make it open. Go and do whatever. This is about education. But in terms of appointments, mm -hmm. it's going to be very, very difficult. You know the reason why I'm saying it's very, very difficult? Okay. Let's look at it. I'm from Ogun State. Uh -huh. I'm a resident in Lagos. If I become a president, I want to choose because we said, let's make it open. If I want to choose my face, it should come from Odogolu. Mm -hmm. If I want to go chief, chief of staff, I'll take it from Elaro. Mm -hmm. 
If I want to pick another person, if you understand now, so the, you said we should make it open. But what is important there is that uh -huh. if we work as one Nigerian mm -hmm. and we are very sincere mm -hmm. with what we are doing, mm -hmm. there is a way something will really involve to the extent that I'm not going to pick all my people and put them into position. That if everybody is not talking, I myself should be ashamed of what I'm doing. Chilaka, this quickly. is this is you see, education uh -huh. is the bane of progress of any society. Yeah. For us to get it right, if we're saying that the, pass, the, the, the cut off mark for jam is 210, let it, be let it go across the board. When you do that, I am telling you, it's like when people talk of education, they talk of the boy child, they talk of the girl child, they begin to discriminate. I say, look, the boy and the girl, they go to the same primary school, <laughs> yeah, the, the same, same secondary school, school the same university. university. Every question, they answer the same questions. Mm. Why is it that when it comes to employment, you begin to voice girls? <laughs> so, that is where the problem is. We need to be sincere with ourselves. Okay, I'm and just sincere with all of some hilarious feedback from the viewers. <laughs> this one says, please leave quota system alone, no, or else nobody from the north will enter Unilag, UNN, and you other first generation. Uh, where well, you have a lot of them here. Yeah. I beg you now. <laughs> you know, I don't totally agree with that. Yes. I don't. Okay, uh, this one says, God bless the ML ML Sanusi. Despite being a lone voice in the north, Quarter system is what kept the North where it is today. That is why our politicians, particularly those in the North, does not want to empower the children and the youths there. God help Nigeria, because this little uh, monster they are growing now will turn out to be a big monster. All right. Once